Hello. Today we are covering medical insurance. In this webinar, we will show you how to set up medical insurance, how to set a plan as medical, when we go over procedures and cross coding, and when we also go over claims and e claims. Before we can go ahead and get started with medical insurance, we do have some required initial setup in Open Dental. Let's get started. First, in the main menu, we go to Setup, Advanced Setup, and Show Features. Our Show Features window will come up, and in the section under Insurance, we have a option for medical insurance. Mine is checked because I've already enabled medical insurance. If this is the first time that you are doing this, you'll want to go ahead and check that and then click OK. And you'll need to restart Open Dental for the change to take into effect. Next, we have account module preferences. Here, we have a preference for set medical claims to institutional when using medical insurance. For medical, there are two formats for medical e-claims. We have medical, which is an 837-P, or we have institutional, which is an 837-I. The default in Open Dental is medical, so unchecked, this means that the default claim type will be set to medical when a medical claim is created. Since my office does not send institutional claims, I do not want to go ahead and check that, so we will leave that option alone. Next, we'll go to Setup, Chart, and EHR. You'll want to go ahead and click into Code System Importer here and click Check for Updates. Because you will re be required to do ICD codes, and this is how you'll import those into the system. So we'll go ahead and highlight on the ICD-10 and ICD-9. Currently, what's being used is ICD-10. Some offices like to have both just in case, but that's what I'm going to do. So highlight on both of those, and we're gonna go ahead and click Download. And as you can see that it is importing those ICD-10 and 9 codes for me. And once you do this, you only have to do this once. So you won't have to do the ICD-10 codes again. Okay, and so that has been completed, so we can now close out of this window. And we can go ahead and close out of this window. Next, we will want to go ahead and make sure that we have set the default medical or institutional clearinghouse. This is separate from your dental default. Dental clearinghouses cannot accept medical or institutional claims. We do have many options or some options, but in today's scenario, we're going to go ahead and choose or set up MD on Medical, also known as Change Healthcare, for our example. So let's go to Setup, Family slash Insurance, and Clearing Houses. You'll highlight and click on Medical. If that clearing house does require you to enter in any username or password, you will double click into that option and type in that information here and then you'll click OK. Now we want to go ahead and designate our plan as medical, which I believe I've already done, but let's go ahead and double check. So list and insurance plans. I've already created my Blue Cross Blue Shield of California, so double clicking into that. And yes, I had already enabled it earlier. So now that we have medical insurance enabled, we have an option here for a checkbox to mark this particular insurance as medical, which has already been done. The other thing we can go ahead and do in this window is go into other insurance info and set our claim form to the HICFA 1500, which is our medical claim form. And so that's been set as well here using the drop down. We can go ahead and click OK. Something to keep in mind that if you're printing your claims, you must use pre-printed claim forms due to its red background. Insurance companies do not allow printing the background from a printer. Okay. 
Now let's go ahead and go to cross-coding. So medical codes such as, such as CPT codes can be cross-coded to dental codes. And the current procedural terminology, which is also known as CPT codes, are five-digit numeric codes used to describe medical procedures and physician services. CPT codes are maintained and distributed by the American Dental American Medical Association, and CPT code books can be purchased from the AMA. CPT codes cannot be imported into Open Dental. They must be manually added and, if desired, cross-coded to procedure codes. So let's go ahead and do that setup for that. So we first need to go ahead and add that procedure code for each medical code. So let's go create our medical code first. Lists, procedure codes. Down here, lower left, we'll click on new. Fortunately, legally, I can't use a real example of a CPT code, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use letters. And then you can give your description and an abbreviation. And this information is up to the office if you needed to go ahead and set a paint type to that or a treatment area or even change the category. I suggest having a category for medical if you guys do decide to have more than one medical code or you want to have categories. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in my exams and clean or exams and x-rays category, but this can always be changed later. If I needed to add another procedure code, I could go ahead and click on add then another, but I just need to add this one. So we're going to go ahead and click on add. My medical code is right here, as you can see. So now let's go ahead and cross code. So on the corresponding dental code, I need to add the medical code that I just created in the medical code box. So let me go looking for my code. I'm cross coding my 7997 to that new code that I just created. So I'm looking for my 7997, double clicking into here, and this is the medical code box. So in here, so you type your code into the medical code, and then you'll click OK. So when a medical claim is created for the procedure, the medical code is going to be used on the claim instead of the dental code. So let's go ahead and show you how that goes. So let's go to a patient. I want to make sure that I add that medical insurance, which it looks like they already had it here and it's been enabled. So medical insurance is already on the patient. Let's go ahead and chart that procedure code that I just cross coded. So I did a 7997. I'm gonna go ahead and set that complete. Okay, so we've set the procedure complete. So we'll double click into that procedure code. And here for medical, you can see that the medical code is being used. So it's cross coding like I wanted it to. And we also can go ahead and do a diagnosis code because in medical world, your procedures need diagnosis codes. And you also need a principal diagnosis so this is where you would go ahead and check for principal diagnosis. So you'll have to mark one of your procedures as this, and this is where you'll do that. And then you'll also want to go ahead and do your ICD-10 codes. So let's go ahead and use. So you may not know your ICD-10 codes, but we have a search feature. So you'll go ahead and click on the ellipsis. So this is where you'll search for your ICD-10 codes. So you don't have to know the ICD-10, but you do need to have a little bit of a description. In this scenario, my patient got hit by a tire. And so this is why we had to remove some of that. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in tire.
And from here, you'll choose the one that is best for what you're charting for. You can have up to four diagnosis codes for each procedure. And so you'll just click on the ellipsis if you need to add another diagnosis code, but only one is required. And then we'll go ahead and click OK. Next, let's go ahead and bill out that insurance or that procedure. So we're going to go ahead and go to the account module. And here's that procedure. So I charted the 7997 and it's going to show me the 7997. But when we create that claim, it's going to go ahead and cross code that for my medical insurance. So since I'm sending this to medical, I'll highlight drop down and medical. And you can see that this says that this is a medical claim here. The claim form that it is using is the 1500 2. And we can preview this claim. So as you can see, there is no background because that's not allowed within medical insurance, but this is what that claim will look like. Here's my diagnosis code, and here's my procedure code, or the CPT code that I cross-coded to. From here, I can print this out if I'd like. I'm going to go ahead and just click OK because I can go ahead and send this later. And so now we've created that claim and it can be sent with our batch in medical. If I have more medical batch or claims to send, or I can just send it here or print it. That was a brief overview of medical insurance. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.